I was dumbfounded when I found being well-rounded wouldn't lead me to fame. I wasn't playing the right game, the one our gods play. Our heroes have regressed into the time of the Greeks, and now they're not just heroes but freaks. So good at one thing, they're defined by one thing, like patron saints of singularity, ancient gods of victory and fire. We have chosen to admire people who are successful, not happy, so we are damned from birth to compare our worth to our heroes' net worth. Not from our heroes' character, but from their caricature do we compare ourselves. We worship a deity out of touch with reality, and we're constantly unfulfilled and unhappy. Most famous athletes get depressed after they retire because nothing can recreate the fire in their soul that came with being complimented. It's demented. Yes, I said it. When you rely that much on validation, on putting a ball in a net, when your validation takes a vacation, all that's left to do is become depressed. When the one thing you base your identity on fails you, you become a blank. A dictionary entry with no definition, no text beside it. Why do we idolize our idols' lives? Those who seem unhappy, whose marriages crumbled due to too much money, and a lack of priority. We suckle from the rotten teat of fame, look up towards a sun that has no aim but to blind us. So stop defining yourself by how much you make, how many people think you're great, how many likes you can get on a picture of your face. Contemplate, mediate, reflect instead, use your head, appreciate good food and warm beds. Don't thirst for the worst of us. Don't emulate the shameless. Now share this video so I can become rich and famous.